The camera is up. <laughs> this is a documentarian in Cole Weathers. He's on the program and he will be documenting everything. Uh, he's really good. The last tape I saw, I saw somebody picking their nose on his tape. Okay, so he's really good. He sees everything. He sees everything. Okay, so be careful. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, turn. Go ahead. Do it. Do it for me, okay? Uh, anyway, we have William Roper, Richard Newsham, William Roper, and me, Alicia Shapiro, and Scott Richmond uh, performing tonight. And um, usually out here, I try to kind of like um, make sure that everybody gets set up. This is the reason we're out here. Just so you don't see anything. Uh -huh, surprise. Anyway, um, I usually try to share a few things that don't make it into tonight's performance. And you can understand my humor. If I tell you about the piece, then I guess it's in the piece. Is that right? No, oh, oh, I'm okay. I, I am so subtle. Um, anyway, I'm really happy with the show. I've sold two pieces already, which is paid for the frames and it's paid for. Um, uh, some of my wife's happiness. Okay. <laughs> Yay, John! <laughs> okay, then I'll take it a little further. <laughs> um, the um, the show is tough, uh, especially we've had this problem before. When uh, when I show here for Sylvia, this is my get. It's not. It's my show, her gallery, and that we and, and we interface immediately. Okay. So she puts up work and I say it doesn't look good. And she said, look, it's, it's saleable. That's good. That's where it's going to sell. Uh, and I, so then we start arguing and we start arguing in front of people. And, uh, okay. And then, uh, and then she goes, she goes, she draws the card out and she said, it's my gallery. And, okay. And, and this time, this is my third show. This time I got a little gutsier. I got a little stronger, I think. And I said, well, it's my work. Okay. And then we both stared at each other. Okay. And uh, we stopped talking for about a day and a half. Okay, so that's the way. Um, and I have here a, a question: Does anybody have any arbitration skills or arbitration skills? <laughs> I All right, for anyway. Judge. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk soon. Um, another little thing that didn't make it into the sh uh, show, but I thought I'd share with you, is I'm off of Coumadin. And if anybody's on Coumadin, uh, you just got, you go like that, and it gushes. Okay, you know what I mean. And, and so I, I did a test and I wrapped myself, you know what I mean, and nothing happened. But I'm telling you, the blood, the blood flows if you've ever had Coumadin. Can we call you Clot? Can we call what? Clot. Clot? Clot. Clot. Oh, I like that. Okay, Clot. Clot. I get clotted up all the time. Um, okay, and I solved my anger today um, to share with you. I think this is important. It's probably important to me and then I, then I of course, think it's important to anybody else. Um, I had about four calls, live calls, uh, for business. Uh, for joining up on certain things, and I, um, I said, "Hi, I'm Clyde, and what's your name?" And they hang up. It's great technique, it, it, unless it's a recording, and that doesn't work with a recording. You need to hang up. But um, like clockwork, they hung up. They didn't even say goodbye. And nice talking to you. They hung up when I asked for their name. So, the technique. Anyway, that's it. And um, I have uh, one other thing that, uh, which I like. That, you know, socializing is always a way of educating oneself. A bunch of social people here that, that like this, what I'm going to say. Uh, I was just talking to Scott, and he said that um, he was just got back from India, and he said that, you could, uh, like, this means that they're saying yes. Okay. <laughs> I, can you imagine that? And this is no. Okay. Holy shit. I could never, I could never work that one out. Anyway, I thought that was, again, it was kind of an interesting piece of thing. Okay, so we have uh, William doing the um, uh, a piece called, um, he'll explain it because it, uh, it's beyond me in explaining it, but it's uh, uh, Sibonis, Ular, and a Schwarzenegger song. Okay, if anybody's a German here. And it means swan song, okay? And then there's Richard Dusham doing Close Encounters, and then uh, Roper and myself doing The Point Is, it's the name of the piece. And then Alicia Shapiro, who's right over there. Some of the other artists are here, I guess. Or whatever. He's doing, uh, why do I do what I do? Or, or why do I do those weird things? He will answer that, okay? <laughs> and uh, then there's Scotch Witchman doing a piece called Seed, okay? So I think we're ready to go. Um, and I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. You will go in, and um, there'll be somebody there saying, go over here, and it's right on the left hand. Come right around the left hand side, and William will be ready to perform for you. Thank you again for coming. Papa Daddy, 
I'd like to welcome you to Bavaria. We're in the small village of Schwandorf, Swan Village. And this piece that you're going to participate in, because you are citizens of Swan Village, is called Cygnus Olar, the Mute Swan. That's the Latin name for the Mute Swan. Its subtitle is Schwanikensang, which is the swan song. Because you know the myth is that the, the swan is silent all its life until it knows it's going to die. Then it sings one beautiful song. So, this piece is the life of the swan and that final song. The song at the end is a rendition, sort of, abstractly, of the Byron Hill, which is the Bavarian Hill. And Bavaria, in case you don't know, is what Texas always wanted to be and hopes to be, <laughs> which is a free state. The official title is the free state of Bavaria. They have autonomy. All right, so here we go. Bye, people. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
she believed the legend completely enough to test it. As an anthropologist, my job is only to record and not interfere. I cannot now tell you any details of the immolation story except that the mother was in a rapture of belief when the child was three days old. That day, I could not wash the smoke from my skin, nor unlink myself from the child of the story that, like a terrible wheel, came rolling out of its own center. Thank <laughs> you. 
and a lot of instruction materials and testing materials and stuff. And one day, and he like fool around, you know, because they weren't all the students, so we, you know, he didn't take me, I didn't take him. Um, one day, uh, I brought him a bag of party decorations. And while John was busy working with the student, I went into the closet and I put the streamers to the side of the kitchen. Balloons, party ass, wine glasses, like some, you know, I thought someone had a party in the closet.
Digesting a Cuban sandwich, and I have a little gas. Though, so why would I want to know all of that? Because I'm doing I'm doing things too. I know, but that's different. How? Because what I do comes from my own head. Oh, wouldn't you rather keep it all in there? My thoughts? Yeah. No, that would be selfish. What thoughts are you having right now? Um, thinking that you're sexy. You are? Yeah. You don't care if I know all your thoughts? <laughs> no, I like it. You don't want to keep some of them inside? No, I like putting them outside. <laughs> Everything you put outside has to go somewhere. It does? I think so. You can't just sit there. I think some of it's going in me. Is that okay? I don't know. I feel kind of full with yours and mine in there. Maybe you should put yours outside. Everything? Yeah. To make room. So yours goes inside. I put mine outside? Yeah. Maybe I should record everything too. Why? So you don't miss anything I'm doing. What are you doing? Right now? Yeah. Right now I'm 
thinking about everything you're putting outside. Thinking about it? Yeah, thinking about it. Well, you, you don't have to think about it. Why not? That's a lot of pressure. What if I put something outside I don't mean to? Like what? I don't know, like something from deep in my brains, something accidental. What should I do if I find one of those? I guess just let me know. What will it look like? I don't know. Probably something small. Uh-oh. What? I think I just found one. You did? Yeah, it's definitely small. See? No, no, I don't want to look. But it's pretty. It kind of looks like you. No, no, no. I don't, I don't think those are supposed to be outside. Well, what should I do with it? Can you put it back? Back where? Back inside. How do I get it back in there? Just put it back where it came out. <laughs> I don't know how it came out. It was just suddenly there. It didn't come out of my mouth? Or, or any other hole? No. I, I don't even see a hole where it could come out. What? I know. There has to be one. Okay, hold on. Let me look. I found one. Is it the right one? I don't, I don't know. Does it matter which one I use? No. I think they're all connected. What if it comes out again? I'll be careful not to let it outside. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Here it goes. Is that better? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>